Hello, gardeners beware. A widespread frost is expected on Monday night with Arctic air lying across the whole of the UK. Winds from the north. Those winds have brought wintry showers to much of the north of the UK. Any accumulations really confined to the hills and mountains of Scotland and those showers will continue overnight whilst the showery rain that we've seen further south disappears into the continent, then clearing skies widely, especially inland whilst showers continue to affect some coastal areas. And with those clear skies and with the winds easing a touch, I think widely temperatures will be a degree or two either side of zero and as low as minus four to minus six Celsius for some sheltered highland glens. So chilly for all of us as we begin Tuesday, but bright skies, plenty of sunshine around first thing, certainly a lot more sunshine compared with Monday. And we keep those sunny skies until later in the morning when the cloud does tend to build inland. There'll be further showers affecting some coastal areas, especially around Irish sea coast, and the north of Scotland will continue to see sleet, hail and snow showers, although any accumulations really confined to the higher parts and only a centimetre or so at that anyway. Still below average temperatures and feeling particularly cold in the wind. But where we're out of the wind and got a bit of sunshine, actually not feeling too unpleasant, I suspect. Then into Tuesday evening, the cloud tends to disappear once again and a widespread frost begins to form. One exception, towards the southwest, we're going to see thicker layers of cloud begin to arrive and you'll notice some patchy light outbreaks of rain pushing into Cornwall and perhaps reaching Devon and Dorset by the end of the night. Frost free here, but elsewhere towards the north and the east, another frosty one as we begin Wednesday. Albeit with bright skies though, with Scotland and Northern England seeing the sunniest conditions first thing. Still some wintry showers for the far northeast of Scotland, but really that's where they will be confined to. Rain showers more likely across central and southern Scotland into northern England and thicker cloud with some outbreaks of light rain and drizzle towards the south and southwest of England with a lot of low cloud here covering the hills leading to a gloomy and damp day and some sea fog just off the coast of Cornwall as well. Fairly dreary conditions towards the southwest then but 13 Celsius here whilst the brighter skies towards the northeast will be prevalent with temperatures of 7 to 9 Celsius. Then heading into Wednesday night, we'll see even thicker cloud arrive from the southwest. So frosty conditions largely confined towards the northeast. And these weather fronts bringing increasingly cloudy and damp weather in from Thursday into Friday with some heavy rain likely across southern parts on Thursday night before things turn warmer on Friday and into the weekend. More details on that in the Met Office week ahead forecast, which you'll be able to find on our YouTube channel.